Hi, welcome to your message. Thank you so much for joining me. Beloved, if you were keen or interested in booking me for reading, you'll find my email listed on the screen. I offer any and all kinds of readings, including one-on-one -on -one sessions um, via FaceTime, video call, Zoom call, as well as Skype, okay? Let us begin with your message and take a look at what God wants you to know at this time. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is symbolic um, to treatment we as people receive from other people. So the treatment that people give that is symbolic through the Knight of Cups. So with this Knight of Cups, I see here that there has been an ill treatment in how you were treated. And this is to say that you dealt with a lot of trauma because of how others and what others did you and to you, however way you were wronged. The way you were in which you were wronged was very traumatic. And your ancestors are saying that the rank of trauma that you encountered was very high. It was a high vibration of trauma that you were on. As everything in life, there's levels, okay? And certain things, certain paths that we walk are so scarring. And certain paths that others walk um, more simplistic and more basic in their nature and in their way but that is their journey and not yours and this is to say that God watched and saw how your journey was very 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 traumatic God watched how others treated you okay with this chariot cancer energy we have Scorpio with the Knight of Cups and Cancer with the Chariot. Water element, okay? You were abused emotionally here, beloved. You were traumatized emotionally. And I'm seeing here that this emotional trauma, after a certain period of time, it began to affect you, um psychologically okay it started to affect you psychologically eight of cups meaning um your day-to-day -day experiences how they would go it's like they became very burdensome life became very heavy at some point you might have felt like a very sad individual very miserable dead weight dead inside and the weight that you felt in your heart when you were experiencing all this trauma, you were being watched over all along, okay? All along, you were being watched over. All along, your ancestors saw all that was done to you, wrongfully done, okay? Things that were done out of spite, okay? Your ancestors witnessed it all happening. And they're saying that they watched how you navigated through everything with the clear perspective of everyone's projections towards you. So they're saying that you are extremely brilliant because you were able to see through the fog of projections placed upon you by others who couldn't even merely see their own projections. So with this five of wands, your ancestors fought countless times, okay? They fought to keep you away from certain people. They fought 
to keep you away from experiencing certain things okay they fought as much as they could but the weapons that people formed against you were very great it's like people couldn't stop there was a constant need of destroying you that was placed inside of them they just it was just very it was a very um dark spirit and the darkness that surrounded these people and it surrounded their heart space too and their heart space impacted their thoughts they started having devious thoughts devious thoughts vicious intense unorthodox things that they wanted to place upon you due to you it was it became very disgusting it became very disgusting for your ancestors to keep watching over what these people were saying and doing towards you in spite. So, but with this page of pentacles, I'm seeing that they still continue. They still continue to pay close attention. They still continue to see everything and watch over every decision that was made, every seed that was planted um, against you, um, every, every choice that these people made that was forming a weapon against you that was very washed over okay and with the strength card leo energy it took a lot out of your ancestors to not distribute karma right then and there to not punish right then and there but they took heed of god's word when god said wait I want these people's karma to be slow and intentional. I don't want it to be rapid and un ineffective. God wanted specific emotions to be evoked within these people for this for the specificness of the evil. The evil that they embody at heart, okay, Ace of Cups. These people have a very dirty heart. They have dirty hearts. They have dirty spirits. They have filthy souls. They have filthy halos embodying themselves as filthy angels. Falseness, false prophecies, okay? Falseness of their being, falseness of everything that they bring to the world. Do you understand how negative this is? How low of a vibration this is this is the lowest of the rank when it comes to low vibrations and these people with the three of cups they're on the lowest rank of low vibrational vibrations in the 3d and this is to say that the difference between you and them is strict and heavy. And what that means is the vibration in which we are on defines how impactful our energy is and how much we are respected without having to earn it in, in, in a way of speaking about it. Oh, I want you to respect me. No. In order for you to earn the type of respect that doesn't need to be spoken, you need to be of that rank, meaning you need to be of that vibration. And this is done through many things, but it all links to one good common denom denominator. Being good is the common denominator in this instance. You need to be good to be of this rank. Good consistently, not selectively with certain people, with certain experiences. Just be good, a good person full stop period and if you are not that then you are not that you will never be on that rank therefore and those that are on it will always therefore irritate your spirit because you are filthy in spirit these people were filthy in spirit that's why they couldn't handle yours <laughs> beloved They couldn't handle your spirit. It was too great. It was too pure. Because the hangman, yes, precisely, my
my point piscean showing up pisces rules excessiveness so with this hangman these people had excessive thoughts of bringing you down seeing you hurt they had excessive thoughts of anger towards you negative um bashful spiteful thoughts okay and they were repetitive and excessive and very thorough so your ancestors heard these thoughts and these people exposed themselves with the thoughts that they had because no good person or good-hearted person will ever embody such thoughts these were poisonous and all directed towards someone who was good hence they were poisonous these thoughts weren't evoked with good reason hence they were poisonous these people were spiteful that is all king of cups these people lacked emotional intelligence they lacked emotional depth all they knew was pain all they knew was hate so that is all they knew how to be because that it was the only vibration that they were tapped into they knew nothing else they couldn't be kind-hearted they knew they didn't know how they couldn't be spiritually inclined they didn't know how they don't know how they can't be loving because they don't know how to be because beloved these people are living in a constant state of trauma and projection in this earthly realm they are tapped into a very low vibrational state Okay, one moment. In this earthly realm, they are tapped into a very low vibrational state. And with this two of wands, this speaks of how we are all connected in spirit. These people violated the connection they had with you in spirit form. Hence all the spiritual battles that you fought because they declared it with their actions towards you because their spirit was so impure. Their spirit was that impure, beloved. That impure. So your ancestors took heed of these people's thoughts. Everything that they 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 would think of any weapon that they would conjure up as an idea to form against you any ideas that were tossed around in a room in a conversation about you they heard it all and your ancestors were in those moments pen and paper writing down the comic debt that is owed to you because that was all a lie everything that was said was a lie everything that was said was to mislead Everything that was said was to formulate a, neg a negative narrative when it comes to you and your story and your presence and your energy. And that in the spiritual realm for a highly ranked spiritual individual is a crime. You don't do that. Two of Wands, Two of Swords. It's like it's a crime in the spirit because your spirit was violated. Okay? Your spirit was highly violated. It's like your ancestors want you to receive karmic justice. So, beloved, all of these projections, okay? All of the all of the negativity that was sent towards you in spirit form that was a spiritual crime. What was done was of a spiritual crime. It's like God watched these people do this and didn't like, he actually hated what your ancestors reported back, okay? So with this being said, 
you are owed this karma because what these people were doing was in in a false way it was wrong they shouldn't have and since you can't be the voice of reason for yourself your ancestors want to be the voice of reason for you they want to put you in the position to be able to see people's true colors even if you know the true colors already they want you to see it and when you see it it's going to activate a lot of things within you beloved it's going to spark up new inspiration we have the sun leo okay you are going to feel more elevated more activated than you've ever been it's going to enlighten you okay you're going to be more enlightened through these experiences the the karmic debt that is owed to you is owed to you for a reason because you need to get and gain something from it karmic debt is is a thing because of its impact because of its role it serves a role okay and your role the role it's serving in your life is the role to redeem you to redeem you of the the ill words that fell on deaf ears meaning the ill words that people were projecting on others because they wanted to have any every and anyone on the hate train that had your name on it we all are in this train because we hate this person and i'm leading that uh train okay god is dealing with the individuals that were leading your hate train and is dealing with the individuals that were in it so whoever joined on the hate train is going to be they have comic debts okay they all have We have the Queen of Cups, okay? It's like these people, when they see you and they would see you, they would experience a lot of triggers because you would, it's like they would project their insecurities upon you because you would trigger their self-esteem. You would trigger their self-esteem not because of how you looked or your looks, but because of who you were at heart. They couldn't embody that same empathy if they tried to. They couldn't embody your healing energy if they tried to. They couldn't embody your verbiage if they tried to. They're not on that rank. They have never been. You are highly ranked spiritually. Hence, you've always been of this likeness. And you've always been envied for it too. So, your ancestors want to bring you emotional fulfillment. They want to make you understand why people were the way they were towards you. They don't want you to just accept people's um, actions towards you. They want you to understand them so you know your role in it and you know why it had to happen the way it did. Two of swords, two of wands, two of pentacles. So... There is a, a, a spiritual cleansing that is taking place in your life and it's taking place within your heart space. It's taking place within your heart chakra. The spiritual cleansing that is happening within your heart chakra is here to enable you to have a better life. So that you have better experiences. You feel better things. You have better days. And this has to be done properly, is what your ancestors are saying. So God wants good. And to have good, you need to be good. To be good is considered you doing good. I'm being called not to take these, but... Okay, I'm being called not to read them either. To be good means to do good. 
So it has to be done properly. It has to be done right. God can't leave any stone unturned. Hence, when you receive karmic debt, it might, it's not because you want it. It's not because you are the one that asked to receive or to be on the good side of karma and receive karmic debt from those that owe it to you. It's not that you want this for them. You don't want them to get karma. It's karma that they owe you because of their actions towards you in this lifetime. For we are all in this earthly realm, interconnected with one another in everything we do. And if anyone violates anyone spiritually, they will get spiritual karma. And these people are under that. Exactly. They are under that. They are on that vibration of receiving spiritual karma, the star, Aquarian energy. They're receiving spiritual karma. And this is being distributed by your ancestors. They want these people to learn the hard way. Because this is what they've signed themselves up for. And what that means is they watched how these people persistently wanted to bring you down. It wasn't just one attempt to do so. It was persistent attempts, meaning this was something that they wanted within their heart that makes them even more impure. That is wrong. Strictly wrong. And God wants to tell these people this, but to tell it, he needs to show it, right? Because these people... They don't take heed of the warnings they received from your ancestors when they were told to back away. They didn't take heed of the fact that you were a good person and they were not meant to treat you like this. They didn't care about your feelings getting hurt. They weren't considerate of that and of you. And the treatment they gave you is the vibration that they're on. And this is what they sent out to the world. Therefore, this is what they're receiving back. That is their karma. As above so below what comes what goes also has to return okay as much as what comes has to go what goes also has to return so it's like the cycle of life and the cycle of life is represented in a circular way we are all linked. No one is above anyone. We are all in this earthly realm together. And so there's someone who has some portal that can take us to where they think we need to be. Then if that person doesn't stand up and do something, let's all just accept the fact that we are here and not fight it. These people have been fighting it with the moon. And the fight that they've been experiencing has been an internal fight. And therefore, they haven't been in a healed state of being because internally they have been experiencing a lot of warfare. And this warfare that they've been experiencing internally began to be projected towards you. Okay, Knight of Cups, twice. Okay, Knight of Cups rules the imagination and also the interpretation of our fantasies, okay? This is Scorpio energy. The interpretation of our fantasies. So these people had the false narrative, a false narrative they formed of you, a false narrative they wanted to formulate of you because they wanted people to perceive you a certain way. Beloved, this doesn't have to be a big thing that was done it could be something that in the 3d seemed as small as someone who doesn't like you telling a false story to someone else because they want that person not to like you too in the 3d that might be normalized because it's the world we live in and the people that are doing it are on this low low vibration and it's impacting all of us but in the 5d in the spiritual realm it's accounted for because it's a crime you don't do that it's false. It's wrong. You're not being good. You're not being a good person. So that needs to be accounted for, okay? Therefore, the karma and the justice that you receive 
is what is being accounted for. That is what being accounted for means. You receive karmic justice. Okay, king of swords. Okay, yeah, declaration has been made in the spiritual realm here that you're receiving this karmic justice. The high priest. High priest. Okay? The treatment that these people are going to get is going to be in a very masculine way with this king of swords and this high priest. Because what they did was very, very... um. It was highly ranked by the masculine ascended masters to be the worst crime you can do to anyone. So the ascended masters that are masculine are the ones taking control of the situation in the spiritual realm in these people's lives. So you might be experiencing, on the other hand, feminine ascended masters who are helping you heal, who are helping you tap in more to yourself, being more gentle having a different reality, better days, but they're having masculine ascended masters that are showing them a different narrative, teaching them harsh lessons because they did bad things and truly evil and cruel things to other people, okay? They're being taught their lessons at this time. Let's proceed. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups. Wow, beautiful. We have the Seven of Swords. Okay, Ten of Cups here. Pisces Energy. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords. The Seven of Swords is Libra energy. The Eight of Swords is Gemini energy. Okay. We have the Seven of Wands. Leo energy. As well as the Five of Pentacles. Virgo energy. No, Capricorn. Okay, beloved. Capricorn energy with the Five of Pentacles. Excuse me. We have the world. Okay. So with this Ten of Cups here, with this narrative here, what I'm getting is there has been... Um, A declaration that has been made in the spiritual realm with regards to the karmic justice that you're going to receive. Meaning that the karma that is assigned to you is good karma, okay, of course. But the type of karma, the type of karma, okay, there's a specific type of karma here. The specific type of karma that you are meant to receive is the type of karma that has been um, decided upon by your ascended masters because they have been with you since your birth. They know what you can handle and what you can't handle. They know what you, what you, what will fulfill you and what won't. So the karma that is going to be of you was strictly just orchestrated and written in in its specificity because you needed specific things to happen. You needed to see specific things, specific encounters, specific synchronicities, specific quotes, specific messages, specific downloads, specific channelings, specific individuals. It's all specific keyword here. A certain type. That's what specific is. A certain type. So the certain type of karma that you have is going to be a certain type of good. Certain type of good. It's, it's the type of good you need to be prepared for because it's going to be that good. But as above, so below. The certain type of negative karma this, these people have earned themselves is going to be brutal. Brutal. 
They have to lay in the bed that they made. They have to eat from the trees of bad seeds they planted. They have to reflect on themselves and take accountability of who they are, the decisions they've made, the choices they've taken. These people have placed certain hopes in things that they felt would redeem them in the end. They felt as though these things, they placed their hopes and faith in the wrong things, in the things of the world, in people of the world that claim to be of high rank, thinking that this is how they're going to get their way. This is how things are going to go for them. But that was false. That was a false narrative. God allowed them to conjure up and he purposely placed it there so that these people's narrative is illusion. It's, it's in an illusionist form. This illusion state of being that they were going to be in and they were in served its purpose to keep them trapped in a certain way of thinking so that God can remain hiding you in plain sight, that they don't figure out who you actually are. Because if they had done so, they would have done all that they could right then and there. The reason they didn't win is because they hadn't figured it out yet. They hadn't pulled out all their cards because they didn't know who they were actually dealing with, even though they had felt it. But if they had actually figured that out, they would have, it would have drove them insane because they are that impure in spirit and they are that dirty in the spiritual realm. They are that dirty. But that will be all, beloved. I'm being led to end it here. I'm being called, okay? If you are keen or interested in booking me for a reading, you'll find my email listed on the screen. I offer um, prophetic, intuitive readings, spiritual path readings, ancestral messages, as well as love readings, okay? Um, if you are looking to book me for a one-on-one -on -one session, I offer that via video call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as Zoom call. And I'm sending you another beloved, beloved. Until next time, bye.